the morning of the England game, guys. We're in the car. And this is the start of it, guys. Morning, people! Let's go! This a day English football had waited more than half a century for. Three lines. Three it for us. Now, what makes you that angry that you need to do that? How would you go home then and your missus say, your kids say, listen, Dad, how was your day? Devastated with the defeat. Racially abused that car. No, that went down well. Got nicked for it. But I'll be all right. I'll get away with it. It'll be fine. It'll blow over. You fancy a takeaway, love? Why is football racist? Why am I having to explain this stuff to my kids? Are we really here again? Are we really still doing this? I'm scared to even look at my direct messages anymore because it could be filled with anything. I'm telling him, mm. like, yo, bro, this is racist to me, innit? Mm. I've shut it down from the get-go. Mm. Don't even make that a common word here. At the end of the day, we're going to practice something that we love to get hammered <laughs> by millions of fans about their skin colour because I miss the touch mm. or you give a goal away. Why are there no openly gay players in the Premier League? Will it fall for Hitzelsberger? Oh, what a goal! Thomas Hitzelsberger says he hopes one day that a Premier League footballer will be able to come out as gay while still playing. I did meet a lawyer and he said, look, there's no problem you being gay, but don't ever go public while you're a football player. You don't see players coming out openly and freely going, listen, I'm gay, and what? I don't know why, why is that? Coming out, it was an unsure time for me. I didn't know what to expect from the public. I didn't know what to expect from my teammates. This is uncomfortable for me. I'm not in my comfort zone here. Batman. That's the main <laughs> one, isn't it? That's the main one. Saying Batman was like something was so normal. It's okay. It's okay. It's Come on, you are playing soccer. Guys. Why is there a mental health crisis in academy football? Former Man City Academy footballer Jeremy Whiston was found dead in his home in October. His mum phoned me. I remember just being in the back garden, just, just fell to my knees, just, I was in a, I was a mess, yeah, I was broken. I think a lot of kids are being lost to the game because of mental issues that aren't addressed, aren't seen, aren't noticed. We've got to talk to young kids who are going through this right now. Is there a safety net for these players? Is their mental health being looked at and addressed? Or is it just a box ticking exercise? I'm done talking, it's about moving forward now and making sure that actions are put in place. Let's get going.